I'm not sure why, but it seems like I could run this machine for hours at a time and not get bored. Something about it is just soothing. It's a good thing I like it so much. I got plenty of hours, lots of seat time on this machine during the project here. I bought this tractor for scrap. There was a guy online selling it because it didn't run anymore. And I got it literally for scrap price, what it would have ran across the scales for. Took a little bit of work, but got another engine put in it, and uh, it's been great to me ever since. So Colton and I broke down, or I guess I should say I broke down. The tractor's having a hell of a time getting this dirt moved. The ground's soaking wet. We need this thing inside the house anyway. So we went ahead and grabbed it for an extra day. Let's see if Cole can get this off without killing himself. This is scary, like backing it off. Well, you're on. You want me to set the parking brake on the truck? You know, rip the parking pole out of the transmission? I knew it was gonna do that because I watched the guy load it and I knew it was gonna tip, I was just waiting for it. Well, it's a car trailer. Oh, Colton's gonna have fun. I know it. <laughs> we only get 20 hours. You gotta run it as hard as possible. You know, the rental company, I, I asked them, you know, per day or per hour, and it's it's eight hours a day, which I guess is fair, but I mean, all it does is encourage, all it does is encourage people to just beat the hell out of stuff. I mean, Colton wanted to let it warm up for a minute, and I said, no, we're not gonna let it warm up. Because every minute that the thing runs is a minute that I have used up. All right, I'll see how it does. All right, well, that's already better than the tractor. It's already better than the tractor did today. You see, the tractor had a hell of a time in this muck, which I didn't expect it to do well. We weren't expecting all the rain, that's the problem. So. All right, let me get the tractor out of the way. Let's get a jump pack over here. Uh, tractors, uh, oh, there we go. The tractor battery has been junk ever since we got the thing, so. Jump pack it is, we'll go ahead and get it started up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. But all right, that's 1.5 hours on the hour clock. And then we got maybe, I don't know, how many yards would you call that, Colton? I mean, it's loose yards, but I think we're... Yeah, it's not compacted. Well, this kind of is, but... 
<laughs> then we probably got like a tandem load. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe two tandems. Decent amount, but the good news is the machine's in the hole so the tractor can sit outside now and push dirt in. And the mini can spin circles and start packing dirt. Well, my plan to use the tractor to fill the basement at that point pretty much went out the window as soon as I realized how versatile this machine really was, how much faster it was at moving dirt compared to the tractor. Holy cow, this little machine, for as tiny as it is, can outwork that tractor probably five times to one. So I went ahead and just used the, the little mini skidster here to just move as much dirt as possible. Um, and just just get the basements filled up as quickly as possible. I did use the tractor more in the end, but this little skid was just fun too. I mean, look at this thing go. It's just, I don't know if you've ever driven one of these, but I can do this for hours. Just like running the tractor. It's just, I don't know what it is, it's just fun. Minor problem with the uh, mini loader. You want to tell him what's wrong? Hey, what, that piece of shit or that piece of shit? <laughs> Colton's my compactor today. I'm going to scrap both of them. Sitting on the curb. Compactor quit come running. Get come get them. And the mini loader has a hydraulic leak in it. So we checked all the fluids. It seemed decent enough. I'm not terribly worried about it. Whatever's leaking is not like a geyser. Not yet. It's not pouring out, but it's leaking enough that we need to keep an eye on it. Tomorrow, let's see, today the rental place is not even open. So we're going to try to run it a couple more hours today. Let's keep an eye on the fluid levels. If I have to, I'll go run and buy four gallons of, four gallons, four quarts of hydraulic oil. Just keep it running. I'm not going to burn up their machine on purpose. But tomorrow, they're open, and so if it quits on us tomorrow, might give a service call to those guys and have them come out with their own oil. Top her off, because we can't even drive this thing out right now. I mean, if it breaks, we're screwed. I guess we can try to try to limp it to the hole and then use a truck and yank it out. That makes for some good content, right, Colton? Right. I told you I'd buy you lunch today. Oh, yeah, that $9 sandwich. Hey. I have my lunch in the truck. You have your lunch in the truck? Yeah. Alright, well I'm going to give Colin a hand here. Hi Teddy, are you back? You're 30. Yeah, damn near. <laughs> Alright, watch, watch the start. Watch start. First pull. Alright, so this is how you start up a plate back. Your first thing you want to do is make sure that you guys got gas in it. I'll throw it someday if it fires. What's that? I'll throw it. If it starts for me? Yeah. It will. One, one rippy dippy. I'm just sitting here I got time
clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free